My name is Maximilian Giel. I'm a Switzerland-based outdoor and adventure photographer based here in Switzerland, in the eastern part of it. And I by myself, I've been uh, fortunate enough to be able to grow an Instagram channel to a little bit more than 50,000 followers. And yeah, as like social media is kind of my passion and kind of my daily business and job, um, I thought like um, I want to share some thoughts about growing on Instagram and in general on social media um, in 2023 because a lot of people say like, yeah, it's not possible to grow here. Um, and yeah, I think like um, you really should really think about um, about the whole process about why to grow and all these kind of things um, and all these topics I want to just cover in this video. Um, so yeah, great to see you. Thanks for being here and thanks for watching that. First of all about that. Um, and yeah, so I think we just like start diving off in this topic um, with the question why do you want to grow an audience? I think like this is a super important question um, you should answer yourself before starting off. Um, and like there are like different kind of options which totally determine how you will act or need to act on social media to grow an audience that actually fits and in the end helps you because like this is actually the main thing you need to have. The first thing is, is it just for fun or for personal purpose to get some brand deals, get some stuff for free, all this kind of stuff. So this is the first option. Then the other option would be, are you a creative, are you a photographer, are you a videographer? And that's why you want to grow an audience um, and just like get jobs over that. Um, and the last one um, I want to cover here in this video, I know there are several other of them, would be in a business purpose. So you have a small business, you have a big business, um, so how should you act and what are the key factors you need to look on them um, when you work as a business. So these are the three things. Um, and I want to start off with the first one, with the personal for fun use, um, the brand deal orientated influencer kind of style use. Um, and in this situation, um, what you have heard probably before is you need to find a niche. So what you want to talk about, what um, audience you want to just interact with. Um, this is something you need to get really clear about. Um, and then just like focus on this specific niche. Um, in my case, it was like about mountaineering and training, photos from mountains, videos from mountains, and that's how I grew my personal audience on my um, personal account at Maximilian Giel. Um, so yeah, I grew it to around 56,000 nearly to. Um, so thanks for that. So if you're one of them, I highly appreciate that you following along. Um, thanks a lot for that. Um, so back to that, you need to find a niche um, and you need to have something that makes you unique. Because like if you just like posting selfies and you look like the 22 other girls or boys out there, it will be hard to actually really grow a bigger audience. So you need to be unique and you to need to provide your, your personal things or you need to provide benefits to the audience that you are talking to. Um, then the next thing, and you will hear that quite a lot, be consistent. So post every day. This is very, very important. Look when your audience is most active. You can see that in the insides of Instagram and try to post then. This will also like um, lead to um, a high engagement of your post. Um, in my personal information, I think it still matters how good the interaction will be in the first 10 minutes or in the first hour. So this will impact a lot how good your post um, will perform and over the performance of your post you will get more followers or the probability of getting more followers because of one single post is higher. Um, and the last thing, and you will hear this again, focus on reels. 
Even though Instagram said like, yeah, we will bring photo engagement back, um, I will cover that later, focus on reels. <laughs> then we come to the second topic. And this is like, if you're a photographer, if you're a creative, if you're a videographer, all this kind of stuff, and you wanna grow an audience to showcase your personal um, work to a brighter audience and over this maybe get income um, via brand deals or um, co uh, collaborations, then it's basically kind of the same thing. You probably should focus on a specific kind of niche as a photographer and videographer. Um, this will actually like um, just like improve your chances of getting um, better paid jobs because those guys looking for specialists in their field um, they tend to pay more for specialists than for generalists so that's something to keep in mind you should definitely focus there on quality so um, post stuff that is high quality post stuff that um, maybe um, shows how you did this kind of thing um, to also like get those people engaging with you because you show how you work and you provide maybe informations. Um, and then, as said before, be consistent. Just like try to post every day or at least three or four or five times a week. Engage with your um, community. We cover that later. And also, even though you're a photographer, focus on reels. So you say, okay, you don't have any videos, then just like make a video about your editing process. Make um, a video about your gear. Make a video about your setup. Um, all this kind of stuff. I just like covered it later on an example, but focus on reels. And then the last one, uh, if you are in business and you want to grow your Instagram, the first thing I want to tell you is um, the quality of the followers. It's much more important than the quantity of the followers. So you want followers that maybe be customers of you, that will buy products from you. So these followers are much more important than the pure amount of followers. That's the first thing. It might differ depending on the business. Maybe if you're in a hotel and you get like 500,000 followers, it might be interesting as um, you get better deals with um, brands you use in your hotel. But that's super special things. I'm just talking in general about businesses. And so that's why I'm saying the quality is way more uh, important than the quantity of the followers. Um, then, <laughs> As a business, you should definitely show and focus on showing specific talents, services, specialities you offer in your business. Is it a specific craft? Is it a spe special location where you do your craft and all this kind of stuff? Show these kind of things and also show insights of your business. How is a working day looking at you? This is super important um, because maybe you might find people that want to work for you because you showed how it looks when people work for you. So keep that in mind as a small business. And the last thing, focus on reels. It's still all about video because the engagement is so much better. So. Let's come to a point which kind of tweaks you should like think about when posting. I already told you before that you should check on your insights when is your audience the most active. In my personal case, it seems like most of the people are active at around 6 p.m. So I try to post every single day at this kind of time to just like make chances higher to actually get a higher engagement and get a post more interacting and get more followers from it. Then the next thing is you need to know the specific needs and interests of your audience that you're targeting. So 
Whatever content you're producing, keep in mind what are the specific needs and interests of your audience. If you're in brand, think about doing giveaways in a regular time. This makes sense a lot and will engage a lot with your content and also end in new followers or maybe end in more um, attendance about your company or your brand. So this is also a tweak you might think about. Then if you're posting reels and you do it like as a photographer or you do it as a, for personal post, look at trending audios, um, just like check the reels. Usually those reels should have not more than five to 10,000 um, reels that have made before. Um, because if like there are like one million reels, it's hard to stand out. You know, if you like look at an aquarium and there are like 5,000 fish in there and you maybe you are the super special looking fish, but nobody will see you even though you're fish and you are looking great. So if you just have in there like five or 10 other fishes in the aquarium, <clears throat> in this case, your reel, the chances are higher that your reel will be seen and the engagement will be higher. So that's something you definitely should keep um, in mind um, when posting reels. And then um, if you're not like looking for um, a personal purpose, um, or you not want to use always the trending audio and swim with the wave, then make reels that provide informations that really make people engage and watch your videos because they have a lot of benefit when watching them. That's another really good um, thing to keep in mind. And I want to do that more in the future. I didn't do that that much um, lately, but um, I want to start again with this. Um, and yeah, that's what you're going to see on my Instagram channel more in the future, hopefully. Um, and then we come to the question, why you should post reels instead of photos, even though you're a photographer. I show you an example here. So we have a post here, um, got like 8,000 likes, which is pretty okay. Um, it's a collaboration post with a friend of mine. And if you look down there, um, you see we reached a total about 37,000 um, accounts. Um, and then you see uh, the amount of followers we reach with this post and the non-followers. And then I have another example where I posted a reel all by myself. Um, I get 11,000 likes, so it's just a little bit more. But if you look at the number, it's just such a huge difference. And if you see, it's like nearly eight times as much as the photo. And if you reach that much accounts, I think it's pure easy math that the, um, the chances are higher that you will get more followers from this um, content I've posted there. Okay, so I think that's, that's my example why it makes sense. And then we have another question or something I find very interesting is like, should you try to grow very fast or is the slow growth better? I personally prefer the second option um, because like I've seen a lot of accounts getting one, two, five, six, seven um, reels, getting pushed really a lot, getting millions of views and maybe they jump from five or 10 or 20,000 followers to a hundred and more thousand followers. The problem is that usually the engagement is not getting better. So maybe they have now 50,000 followers, but they still get 300 likes on their content. So even though you have more followers, you won't get better brand deals if you work with brands that realize that the engagement is the thing that really counts because we want to show specific products to as many people as possible. So the engagement is way more important than just the amount of followers. And that's something you really should keep in mind. And also it's super important where your followers are you from. So if I'm in Switzerland and I have like 500,000 followers, but two thirds of them sitting somewhere in India or Russia or 
don't get me wrong, but you know, if I do a cooperation with a local brand or a brand who want to sell products here in Switzerland, they won't be interested because I'm not reaching the right people with my posts. So you also should check in your insights where are your followers from. Um, and that's why I think like the slow growth um, really um, with people that are in your niche and also in a specific area um, will be way more like sustainable for the future and also for your business or whatever you want to go with your amount of followers than just like getting 100,000 followers within a short amount of time um, and just like lacking on engagement, having the wrong population um, on your followers. So yeah, you definitely should keep that in mind because brands have learned that um, luckily um, to check the accounts um, before reaching out um, for brand deals. So yeah, I think that's, that's something I really wanted to tell you. Um, yeah, the answer is just like, do you have any questions about that? So if yes, just put them down in the, in the comments below. And I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, glad to hear your um, questions in the comments. Um, and if you haven't already, just like feel free to subscribe. It's totally free. Um, I'm publishing a video from time to time with insights, with techniques, and also with these kind of topics, what I've talked about now. Um, and yeah, just like follow along and I'll see you in the next video. Um, feel free to also follow me on Instagram. Um, happy to see you there. And with that, I wish you a great day. See you soon. Cheers.